Hello and welcome to another episode of Blake's Take where I unpack customer experience in three minutes or less. Today I wanna to talk to you about why surprising and delighting is just doing right by the customer. Recently, there've been a few viral stories of companies sort of having fun and being playful with customers. One example comes from a hotel where a child left behind a bunny rabbit stuffed doll. The hotel actually took this bunny rabbit on a journey, on an adventure. The bunny rabbit went to the hotel spa. You saw the bunny rabbit with cucumbers over its eyes. The bunny rabbit was relaxing on the massage table. The bunny rabbit went to breakfast and had high tea. So you can see here that they're having a lot of fun with this kid's little bunny. Well, that bunny eventually got back to that customer and that story went viral. And last I checked, it had over 100,000 views on Board Panda, which is a magazine that wrote about this story. Another example where the company did right by the customer and ended up delighting comes from Zulily, which is an online retail shop. Zulily does not accept returns. One customer bought a coat and that coat unfortunately did not survive her two dogs who shed and she couldn't keep this coat. So as you know, cause I just said it, Zulily does not accept returns. However, when the woman called customer service, they said to her something that totally shocked and surprised her. They said, well, yes, we don't do returns, but here, keep the coat, give it to somebody in need or donate it to charity and here's a full refund. What? Have you ever heard of a company actually giving products back and saying, you know what, here's your money, go give this to somebody who needs it. Give this to somebody who needs a warm coat this winter. And that story went viral. That Facebook post that this woman posted after the fact has 130,000 likes and this story has just gone completely viral. So you can see it's another example of companies that understand if they just do the right thing, if they're just moral, if they do what feels good for the customer, it's going to be very beneficial to them. If you think about it, a celebrity posting on social media, it would cost like $80,000 for a company to pay a celebrity for an endorsement. Customer service is generating these endorsements on social media. They're getting this attention for free for the most part. All they have to do is basically do the right thing. And you hear a lot of talk about surprising and delighting is just too much. There was an article in Harvard Business Review that customers really don't want to be surprised and delighted. It doesn't make them that much more loyal than it would if you just kind of fix their problem. But if you think of this from a marketing perspective, these companies that are looking for these opportunities to kind of shine and do things out of the ordinary are seeing amazing, amazing results. Another example today comes from Starwood Hotels where a woman had a really good night's sleep at this hotel and it was because of this clock and the clock had a wonderful kind of music or white noise function that um, this woman could kind of lull to sleep with and it was very relaxing for her and she could not for the life of her find that uh, clock. And so what they did after they saw a message from her, I believe it was on Twitter, is they actually just found that clock that they have in their hotel and they sent it to her for free. So these are some fun examples of how when companies just go a little bit farther, go a little bit above and beyond, they get so much recognition and it's wonderful marketing for them. And the companies that have kind of loose leashes for their teams are having more fun, seeing all the benefits and getting a ton of viral buzz for themselves. So don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel below and uh, that's all for me today. Thanks.